Hi, my name is Arianna, I'm from Italy and I'm about to take you with me in the week of a life of an international student at the University of Birmingham. We are actually starting this week on Thursday, since it marks exactly 7 days before the deadline for the first assignment I have this semester, and this way you get to see how I balance my studies with my social life. My morning starts pretty early. After making lunch and coffee to bring with me, I head to campus at around 8, even though I don't have any lectures or seminars on today. As most second or third year students, I live right outside of campus, in Salyuk. Today I need particular silence to start writing my essay, so I head to the library, where I'm joined by my husband who's also working on her own assignment. After a whole productive day, I decided to take a coffee break on the Coastal campus before doing some more work and finally heading back home. On Friday, my routine remains pretty much the same, with the difference that today the sun is out. Instead of the library, I decided to go to the teaching and learning building because I didn't have time to make coffee and they always have the nicest syrups in the cafeteria here. After working for a couple of hours, I decided to take a walk to make the most of the sun. I take my favorite route by the canal that takes me to the big Sainsbury, which is less than 15 minutes from campus. And of course, I can't manage to leave without a new book before making my way back home. Saturday is a lazy day. I allow myself to sleep in and then I spend the whole day doing some work in the living room with my housemates. Then in the evening it's time to head to town. I would usually take the train from Sally to the city centre, which is just a 10 minutes journey, but because the trains are on strike today, I end up taking the bus, which takes around the same time anyway. My friend and I booked months ago tickets for a drug show at the Alexander Theatre, which was absolutely amazing. And of course, we stopped to get a kebab before going back. Sunday is time to put on our fancy dresses. My friend who is in the university MMA club has a fight, so we're all going there to support him. It was my first time ever at an event like this and the atmosphere was absolutely crazy. And yeah, in case you were wondering, my friend did win his fight. Unfortunately, on Monday it is time to go back to work. I have three days before my deadline, which means I don't have much time for anything else. On Tuesday, I still decide to stop by the gym before heading to campus. With the university, you can either get a membership for the main gym or for Tiverton Gym in Sally. I chose the latter since it's really close to where I live. I spend the rest of the day in the library again, but I actually managed to get most of my essay done, so at the end of the day, even though it's pretty late, I decide to stop and get my theory takeout for dinner. On Wednesday, the sun is out again, which of course makes my little Italian heart happy and fills me with energy. And finally, after one final whole day spent in the library, I managed to finish and submit my essay. As you might have noticed, I like to reward myself with small things every time I accomplish something. So for tonight, I decided to stop by Aldi and Sally on the way back and get something to cook myself for dinner. Included, strawberries and cream, my favorite dessert. <laughs> and finally, on our final day, I can enjoy my way to campus knowing I'm not gonna have to spend the day behind the desk. After a seminar and a quick work meeting at the student hub, 
I ran back home, where I'm supposed to meet my group for the DIY Arts Festival that is being organized by the uni and will be next month. For it, we are working on a short film and we just need to film a few final scenes in my house and then big scenes for it. And this marks the end of my busy but fun week. And of course, the rain needs to remind me that, despite the sound that has accompanied for the past few days, this is still England.